G'day guys, welcome to this week's weekly developer update. I'm CW and joining me once again we have Armenio. How are you mate? I'm doing pretty well this week. Um, we had a big node update that got pushed. Uh, you know, the indexer built on top yeah. of the node potentially, you know, it, it is going to be a big deal. I mean, it's not something I think will show up right away because, uh, you know, developers need to make some changes to call, you know, an index, uh, use the node in their applications. But once that comes out, I think we might see a lot more performance and a lot more power for full node users. Yeah, definitely. It's an exciting uh, update there for uh, users, developers, um, applications, everything like that, because ultimately being able to sort of take some dependency away from the Explorer instances themselves and be able to call, uh, whether it's a local node or a public node, um, and be able to query that and, and get responses, I think that's pretty exciting for the ecosystem. No, it definitely is. Uh, you know, it's one, it's kind of a nerdy thing, but, uh, <laughs> you know, the, having the ability, you know, to not trust explorers potentially, um, yeah. you know, unlimited use, that's awesome. Yeah, exactly. And we all know uh, explorers can be sort of pretty hit pretty hard at times when, when things are running hot through NFP drops or market conditions or anything like that. And, um, yeah, whether the... The wallet you're utilizing or the DAP you're utilizing uh, is taking uh, the services of or utilizing the services of the Explorer itself, um, being able to sort of step away from that and be able to call uh, sort of all these queries from the node. It's pretty exciting, uh, like I just sort of mentioned. Yeah, and it, it gives a certain incentive to run a node, you know, if you're into like the NFT community or uh, you're in a situation where you're dealing with race conditions. Uh, you know, not only will the node have the ability to potentially index stuff, but you also have the ability to adjust your fees pretty easily. And, yeah. you know, sometimes that outcompetes uh, lighter wallet infrastructure. So that's awesome. Yeah, Run exactly. a full node. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And it's pretty simple now. Um, you can jump on and uh, you could run Satergo. You can spin up Satergo, uh, uh, call the APIs through that, or you can even... Um, the old school method and and uh, spin up the the node itself through um, looking through yeah, the, jar. The, the jar itself. Um, if you sort of yeah. want to uh, build and compile, etc., yourself, um, there's multiple different options there. Uh, so yeah, jump out. It, it builds the resiliency and and aids in the security of the ecosystem itself. But also you can run services or um, such as the explore us uh, the the mixer. Um, you can run an instance of the Explorer itself. Uh, you can have off-chain bots, oracles, numerous other things as well. So uh, jump into the ecosystem and provide some services there. Yeah. And another exciting thing we've got going on at the moment, Ergo Hack. Uh, it's, uh, we're coming up to the sort of the concluding stages of, of the Ergo Hack itself. When the video is released, there'll be a couple of days to go. Um, but looking at the, the depth of the project submissions, the proposals that people are putting forward and uh, actual sort of the depth of uh, the product that they're actually bringing to market as well. It's pretty exciting to watch. Yeah, there's a lot of good ideas out there. Um, sometimes it's really hard to be a judge just because you look at multiple projects and you say, okay, each of these, you know, has a strong foundation that you could build a lot on. So and it sucks to be a judge, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be very difficult this time, and, and you've got that responsibility or that burden on yourself um, and also participating. So, uh, Yeah, I'll, you, I'll do more full. this weekend. I'll do more this weekend on, on my side. I've been a little busy this week, but a little bit more to add, polish, just uh, make some recommendations in terms of uh, SIG USD. Let's see what the community thinks. Yep, by all means. Um, and if anyone wants to find out or dig into the um, projects or the proposals that people have put forward, uh, you can do so in uh, through our Discord. There's uh, channels set up for the various proposals or um, Glasgow over the last couple of hours has put together a nice little resource um, on the docs.ergo platform website. So 
you can jump on there and search for Ergo Hack 6 um, in Roman numerals, and it'll it'll come up with a nice little sort of synopsis of what each proposal is and um, any other the paperwork that goes along that with the research papers or white papers, et cetera, et cetera. So um, jump on there and, and read up about them. They've got some really exciting projects. Yeah, awesome. All right, mate. Well, let's uh, jump into the update. Sounds good. Kicking things off, we have Green Hat and his team. So a JUSEX finished and merged the PR, adding new types for the block height, uh, epoch length, etc. You can see that on the pool 215. And on Green Hat's progress himself, he's added wallet sign TX input to sign a single transaction of single input of a transaction, and that relates to ERP 12. Uh, that's pool 689. A work in progress, progress is off-chain code for making oracles voting more friendly to decentralized environments and also introduce changes to the ERP 23 update contract. Uh, it's just asking Scala Hub to take a look at a pool. And then next, uh, test the updated governance on the pool or erg and gold and then start testing the governance in the erg gold pool on the test net and it once again encourages everyone who's interested in running their own pool to start one is they've documented the steps that they've took to start the pool on the test net on the link below and once again you can uh, see the progress towards a release and it's tracked on the roadmap on the link below awesome it uh, looks like next we have Louis Vatra uh, on Paideia. It looks like Cheese Enthusiast has done his first review and will take his feedback into consideration. Uh, he's going through the polishing off phase of the MVP development. Uh, the NFT INO platform, digging through the collection and artwork uh, version 2 standard and made a mass mentor supporting it initially for internal use. Uh, that will open up uh, a front end when tested and used a bit more if the demand is there. Uh, looking into what it takes to set up an IF or IPFS uh, pinning service, allowing for fast image image retrieval uh, for NFTs on the platform. And it looks like Coinly uh, CSV export is a little side project he's taken on. It looks like there's not been much progress, but uh, he aims to have a decent working version before the end of the month. Uh, remaining TX types are vesting and staking. Yeah, nice little utility there for the uh, everyone in the community. And I think I saw today, actually, uh, someone was asking about a little tool or utility like this. Yeah. It's nice to have for people that need it. Yep. Uh, next up, we have Morphic. And he's getting stuck into the Sigma State Interpreter side of things. So on the Sigma, you know, next incremental PR with refactoring has been merged. And the next PR has been prepared for review, which is 863. Uh, it's review and approved uh, pool 860. And then on Ergo, it's reviewed Ergo 5.0.7 release. And next up, uh, migrate the app kit to Sigma version 5.0.5. Once uh, Ergo's 5.0.7 has been released, which happened a number of hours ago. And then finally, we'll publish Scorex and Dbox uh, with Scala.js support on the Sonnet pipe. Awesome. Next, uh, we have MHS with Rosenbridge. Uh, the bridge is still under stress testing uh, with a lot of concurrent transactions. Uh, they pushed the bridge till it broke, and by this last test, a few new bugs were discovered. Uh, now working on the fixes, they're going to restart the tests after fixing the minor bugs, and then we'll try to break it again. So hopefully uh, it'll be the last round of tests before the public launch. It looks like they've reported a bug in the Explorer, causing some issues for the bridge. Um, it's fixed on the bridge side. It needs a little bit of Explorer uh, support with Minotaur Wallet. Uh, they released version 1.1.3 uh, with a few bug fixes. Uh, if you're using versions older than 1.1.1, uh, it recommends you delete the database and restore the wallets. 
Some BIP39 related package has been updated in this period, resulting in a different data type structure. By recovering your wallet, your keys will be supported in the new version. He says, I, I encourage everyone to use the multi-sig feature uh, in Minotaur and provide feedback. Storing personal funds in a personal multi-sig wallet is a good way to improve your safety if you know your assumptions. Uh, anyone familiar with the multi-sig procedure who wants to contribute, please do. He has an idea to improve the signing service with fees that co-signs with you. Uh, something that uh, like Green Wallet is doing for Bitcoin. So for example, you'll have a two out of two wallet, which one of the signers is signing uh, is a signing server. The service will authenticate you by email password, you know, et cetera, and then we'll co-sign. Bounties are available for the service. Uh, reach out if you're interested. So that's a nice uh, potential way to add a little bit of safety into a wallet. Interesting to see. Yeah, exactly. Uh, utilizing that as a sort of two set two factor authentication, uh, but then also yeah, having a bounty service, a bounty provided for anyone who wants to jump on there and, and build out that service setup. So um, anyone wants to take that on, reach out to MHS. Okay, next we have Kushti, and then on the node development side, he's provided another hot fix for the mean pool logic also made an issue for the mempool data structure inconsistency to fix issue 1952 and has finalized 5.0.7 like we mentioned and then next the peers propagation fix as Taikatito disappeared uh, and on other matters also participating in ergo hack with chain cash so he's uh Done note and reserve contracts, and then the first kiosk based test has been passed. Now he's checked a lot of things on the way, for example, a GetBlock Plasma library to work with AVL trees, and he's checking this uh, signatures with AVL plus trees, uh, transformation proofs on chain, and preparing corresponding data off chain. And then now it's going to do tracking and off chain logic. Then also for Dexter, Dexy, they're also looking for off-chain backend developer. So please reach out if uh, they want to join. A couple of opportunities there. Yeah. Next, we have uh, Cheese Enthusiast. Uh, looks like he's given us an update with Lethos. Uh, they've finished are uh, finishing work on collateral contracts and creating a special node, which allows for custom Coinbase transactions. Wait, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, following cheese, we have Captain Nemo. And on the Sigma Fire front, they've added order sorting options, added an option to hide under collateralized orders, added a 0 0.01 ERG fee for order opening, and added box passing improvements. And then just a couple of other small various bug fixes. Then on Nautilus, the DAP connector, they've added sign tx input uh, method support and also now on fleet sdk they're working on sigma usd protocol plugin nice to see yep. what's going on there uh with Ilya uh from spectrum network looks like he's still working on spectrum um he described the system model the added application sections in which described possible implementations of ledger including computational layer and the notion of native native cross-chain apps and described existing solutions in terms of spectrum finance on ergo uh, fix the chain sync deadlock on the liquidity mining bot uh, integrated testing for the liquidity mining bot did uh, backlog resilience uh, Fixed the bug where corresponding orders weren't or aren't delayed properly. Uh, it's a work in progress. Looks like with Spectrum Finance on Cardano, their implemented node error handling uh, when submitting transactions, and the persistent executor uh, UTXO store is a work in progress. On the back end, uh, adding SPFE for AMM orders is a work in progress. Uh, liquidity mining order analytics uh, added. Uh, liquidity mining orders to uh, history API 
Um, adding LM orders to analytics API is also a work in progress. And on the front end, the IDO SPF redeem screen and the SPF execution fee for AMM is a work in progress. They've always got their a lot on their plate, that team. Spectrum boys. Got yeah. a comment here also from Ilya, um, just in regards to Alex's comment about the Dexy off chain side of things. Uh, just about uh, possibly incorporating the Dexy off chain into the Spectrum off chain solutions. So they won't have to de uh, duplicate ergo related code. Off chain operators won't have to configure and run a number of different services. Always a possibility. And scrolling down, it looks like next we have Grand Gambit. They're exploring uh, user address naming possibilities, adding a gambling addiction page help page for all the DGENs out there. It's also, um, I think that's good to have on a gambling website. Also thinking uh, what would be the best way to make a PVP coin flip where users play live against each other. That would be, could be fun. And took two to th three days off to focus on a real life job. <laughs> Have to avoid avoid getting fired, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it's a good option, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like next we have MG Pi with Ergo Sapiens. Um, the off chain bot is complete. Uh, successfully made five hundred chain NFT transactions. Uh, we'll push for more soon, and the contracts were audited by LGD. Uh, Lilium, a project to allow artists to deploy NFT collections effortlessly. Uh, we will handle everything, including deployment and off-chain processing. Uh, the contracts are complete. Uh, working on async play Scala API to store client data in ABL trees. Uh, off-chain engine in progress, and the front-end UI UX design is nearing completion. So that's excited to see. I know that's coming together in ErgoHack. I hope it's finished enough I can play with it. <laughs> exactly. All right, mate. Well, that sums up uh, this week's developer update. I don't think there's any more after that one. Um, another exciting update. And once again, the Ergo Hack proposals, you just touched on a little bit there with Lilium. Um, just like to make mention also uh, about the community fund that there's a raffle set up for, for the community to get involved and um, vote on their favorite projects. So if you want to check that out, jump on to the Ergo Raffle website and uh, provide uh, any Erg if you're willing to do so. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to see the community potentially help and have their own independent prize separate from the you know foundation or anybody that you know is kind of more in control. It's neat to see. Software development isn't always sexy, right? Sometimes uh, we get updates where they're kind of grinding, uh, you know, break it, fix it, break it, fix it. Uh, but, you know, progress is progress, and there's a lot getting done under the hood, and I, I'm really excited to see uh, how things launch and roll out moving forward. Yeah, exactly. I, I think it's fair to say uh, that's sort of where we are in the ecosystem as a whole. Um, number of dApps have been grinding out the development and everything like that, and we're seeing a number of different lending options coming out, Sigma Fire, Duck Pools. Uh, Sigma O, one of the participants in um, the Ergo hack itself. Uh, then even just the 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 node options now. So having the ability or possibility to run a node in a browser instance, um, even <laughs> possibly hooking it up to your your wearable watch or your your TV, your beer fridge. Uh, it's pretty interesting to see. Yeah, there's a lot of technology built into a lot of places. So with light requirements, who knows? Yep, exciting uh, place to see where we're at here in the, the Ergo ecosystem. I'm excited personally for all the developments that's going on and the, the wide and vast um, array of sort of things that are coming to light. And um, we might wrap this up, mate. Uh, it's been a pleasure chatting once again and, and bringing everyone the weekly developer update. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Yeah, have a good one. Take care, guys.